Welcome to my course Automation Framework Development with Playwright in c .net. And in this course, you will not only learn how to use Playwright for automation testing, but will also elevate the power of Playwright in c .net language binding and use all the modern coding techniques and design patterns that we can apply to build a robust test automation framework. This way, it will help you write better and maintainable automation test code with very less flakiness in our automation test code. So this is the whole reason why we have this particular course. So before we get started with this course, who am I? Well, I work as an automation test consultant for past 16 years. And I have been working with various different tools, starting from Mercury's WinRunner to QTP, and then transitioned all the way from test complete to code or UI testing, and then saw the awesomeness of Selenium, and then finally with Cypress and Playwright. With all these tools that I have worked so far, Playwright is one of the best tool, which has got a lot of different capability, which not many of the automation testing tool offers to us, at least for free of cost. And since this course is all about Playwright, we are gonna talk a lot more detail about Playwright in this course by building tests on the top of Playwright using page object model, as well as building a better robust framework. We'll be performing a lot more operation in the test by running the test using the X unit test runners and performing the data driven testing on the top of it. We'll also be performing a clean coding practices across this particular code base by writing dependency injection and understanding the purpose of separation of concern. And once we have built our code, we'll also be talking about spec flow for behavioral driven development and understand how we can write a human readable scenarios, which can be extended with our existing framework that we have got. We'll also be using dependency injection on spec flow as well, along with reporting in this course. And not only that, we'll also be extending our framework with API testing, parallel execution, running this whole code as Docker, as well as running the test in the CI CD pipeline using GitHub action. So this course is all about how we can run a robust code and maintain a robust code across this whole journey. And since this is an advanced course, we'll not deviate from the topic of designing the framework and how we can write the clean coding practices. And that's the reason why we have ended up creating a lot of different crash courses within our course. As you can see, we have basic crash courses, which talks about spec flow, X unit, auto fixture, Playwright, and how to use Playwright with spec flow and perform API testing with Playwright. So these are the, some of the crash courses that we have which fuse together with this particular course. So every time if you get a question on the basic topics, you can always fall back to the crash course and understand how you can work with those basic concepts. So that's the reason why we have a lot more crash course in this particular course. Well, as I said, at the end of this particular course, you will have an industry standard framework development practices for Playwright in c .net, extend the framework to support both UI and API testing, understand how you can use dependency injection, spec flow for BDD, and run the CI CD pipelines of your test in the GitHub Actions pipeline. At the end of this particular course, we will have the test code something like this. We'll have a EA application test, which is gonna use XUnit as the test runner. We'll also perform both the UI as well as the API testing on the top of it. And we'll be building a common framework, which can be utilized by both the XUnit test as well as the BDD spec flow test, as you can see over here. And you can see that we have our application built along with this particular test so that we can use these tests and run them all together in the GitHub action pipeline. I'll quickly show how this particular test is going to be executed. So once I select these tests and if I try running these tests, you will notice that all these tests are going to be executed in parallel and they are going to be controlled using this particular app settings.json file. So this is how the test execution really happens. It not only does the UI testing, as I told you, they also do the API testing over here. And all these execution that we are seeing over here are gonna be executed in the CI CD pipeline as well. Something like this. As you can see, it not only set up the whole environment for us, we also run the application under test and then we perform the test execution. And once the test execution is done, we can see all the results over here. So I'm quite excited about this course and hope you'll really love learning this course as like how I did while building this course. Thank you.